Today is Friday, November the 8th, 2024. It is 6.13 a.m. And the title of this message is Closed Doors. Revelation 3 verse 7 says, And to the angel, messenger of the assembly, church, in Philadelphia, these are the words of the Holy One, the True One, He who has the key of David, who opens and no one shall shut, who shuts and no one shall open. This message is about closed doors. It's about the closed doors that we are instructed to leave closed. It's about the closed doors that we are granted access to through the glory and the grace of God. I had a counseling session a little while back and one of the conclusions of the session was for me to pray and to basically ask God for instruction, ask for some clarity on what I needed to do. And then I think it was that same night when I slept, I had a dream. And in the dream, I saw that I was running from something. I was escaping something. I was fleeing something. And I was shutting and barricading doors. And it was so clear to me. The interpretation was so clear for, for me. What was clear to me was that God was telling me to shut some doors. It was something I already knew, but it was just confirmation. And for all of us, those doors are going to look different. Revelation 3 verse 7 says, And to the angel messenger of the assembly church in Philadelphia write, These are the words of the Holy One, the True One, He who has the key of David, who opens and no one shall shut, who shuts and no one shall open. So in this dream, it was about me shutting something that need not be opened again. And for me, what that looks like is shutting the door on the past, shutting the door on certain affiliations, shutting the door on certain bad habits, shutting the door on anything that is not getting me closer to God, anything that is not bringing me clo closer to purpose. Um, what I did a while back was I made a, I took a piece of paper and I wrote down commitments. And I made a list of things that I needed to do or not do to better myself. That's what that's going to look like for a lot of us. We're going to have to write down some commitments. We're going to have to set some boundaries. We're going to have to shut some doors. Because God wants to open some doors for us. But there are some doors that will not be open unless we close others. There are some doors that will not close until we open others. Closing the door of addiction will open the door of a blessing. Closing the door of a bad relationship will open the door to a God-ordained union. Closing the door to unhealthy eating habits, unhealthy extracurricular activity will open the door to healthier things, to more beneficial things, to more godly things. The message is closed 
doors. There are doors that God can shut that no one can open. There are doors that God can open that no one can shut. But there is a caveat. When God closes those doors, when God gives you the strength to close those doors, don't you dare open them back up. And I'm speaking from someone with experience in this. I'm speaking as someone who has had doors closed. I'm speaking as someone who God gave the strength to close certain doors and I opened them back up. There are certain doors that God will open that are on the path to everything that we prayed for, that are in the root of everything that we asked for, that are in the direction of our soul's desire, but it's going to require you to close some doors. It's going to require for you to release some things. It's going to require you to drop a few things like hot potato, like a bad habit, like something heavy that you just can't hold anymore. It's going to require you to close some doors. It's going to require you to close some doors, to lock some doors, to barricade some doors. And... It may not be easy. It may take some practice. It may take a couple of failings. It may take a couple of fallings and getting back up again, but you're going to need to close those doors. It may take for you to try it over and over again. It may take for you to try over and over again. It may take you to get back up and do it over and over again, but you're gonna need to close some doors. The first couple of times, you may not lock it quite right. The first couple of times, you may accidentally leave it unlocked. The first couple of times, you may leave it cracked, thinking that you can go back, but you're gonna have to close some doors. You're gonna have to close those doors, lock those doors, barricade those doors and walk in the other direction so that God can open the doors of what you prayed for, so that God can open the doors for what you were made for, so that God can open the doors of everything that he promised you. There are many of us who think that we can live these double lives. There are many of us that think that we can straddle the fence. There are many of us that think that we don't have to pick a side. We can be neutral, but you're going to have to close some doors. And closing some doors is going to mean that you can't be neutral. Closing the doors means you're going to have to stand firm on something. Closing some doors means you're going to have to make a choice. You're going to have to pick you're going to have to choose. You're going to have to stand on that choice. You're going to have to stand on that choice. You're going to have to be firm in that choice. You're going to have to be confident in that choice because you're going to have to close some doors. I was relieved to know that what I believed was the answer is what was revealed to me in the dream. Knowing is half the battle. Doing is the hardest part. Doing consistently is even harder. Doing indefinitely is the goal, but you're gonna have to close some doors. And no, it won't be easy but it is necessary. It's going to look different for all of us. What I suggest is that you pull out a piece of paper, you get a pen, and you're honest with yourself. Maybe it's going to take two pieces of paper. You write down, what do I truly desire? What is my heart's desire? What are my goals? What do I want for myself? 
And then you ask yourself, what is holding me back? What am I doing that is causing me to repeat unwanted cycles? What am I entertaining that is keeping me in a stagnant place in my life? You're going to have to close some doors. It helps to write things down. It helps to write down things that you need to work on. It helps to write down your goals. It helps to plan things out, to write it down, to hold yourself accountable, to remind yourself at those times when you get lost, at those times when you forget yourself, at those times when you forget what you're doing this for, at those times when you forget why you're here, it's going to help. It's going to help you to close those doors, to have those reminders, those reminders of what you want, those reminders of the things that are not bringing you what you want because you're going to have to close some doors to get there. You're going to have to close some doors to get to what you want.